everyone and welcome to another Steam Next Fest video and in this one we are checking out Farm Manager World. This I believe is the sequel to Farm Manager 2021 I think it is. Uh, a game that actually I really enjoyed. I think it was quite underrated by a lot of people um, and I'm keen to check out this one to see what they've changed and what's been added into the game. You of course can check this one out too. The demo is available as part of the Steam Next Fest uh, stuff that's going on although it is due to end fairly fairly uh, soon but i think you can probably still get hold of the demo anyway uh, as always if you enjoy this video like the video comment down below for more subscribe for all my latest uploads and ring that notification bell to be notified when they go live and my discord link is in the description where we can continue the conversation and talk about all things in the world of gaming and more in there right then let's uh let's go go to the campaign we're going to learn the basics of farm management. So it might just be the tutorial that we get access to in this. We'll have to wait and see. It's been a little while since I played Farm Manager 2021, but I do remember enough of it that I should be able to make some good comparisons and project my feelings as to whether there's been an improvement or not. Okay. Chapter 1, A New Beginning. Hi, my name is Tom, and I'm going to be your new assistant. According to the task handed over by my predecessor, I was looking for agricultural land to buy. This area is at a great price, and in addition, I've already agreed with the previous owner that it would be possible to purchase adjacent areas. So, are you buying? I sure am. Great decision. Maybe while handling formalities, I can tell you about the control buttons and basic functionalities. In the top left corner, you'll find the current campaign objectives, ongoing information, uh, layers through which you can examine individual problems in the farm, and at the very end, under the exclamation mark icon, you'll find a list of problems that should be solved first. Look a bit lower, and we'll see... Yeah, that's just settings and screenshots. Uh, let's move to the bottom bar. Uh, in the very middle, you'll find tools for creating fields, constructions, uh, constructing roads and power grids, constructing buildings and decorations, market, access to the manager's window, machinery shop, soil testing tool, and the entire list ends with a demolition tool. The left side of the bar contains information about current demand. This way, you'll know how the prices on the product market change. Right next to the human icon, you'll find the number of available workers, total number of workers in the same one in the uh, with the slash. I see that the lawyer is returning with your title deed for the new land. So I'll go over the last right pot, uh, bottom part of the bar. On the right side is your current account balance, next to it probably in the red. The daily balance, at any time by clicking on it you can switch the weekly and monthly balance. Further, you will find uh, buttons controlling the speed of the game and at the end the current date, temperature and weather. I'm glad that we managed to handle all the formalities in one meeting. Such transactions are the most pleasant. So, since the formal matters are already done, let's get down to business. Roughly in the middle of the purchase land, there's a house that you can move into at any time. It's in great condition, so it might be worth considering. What do you want to start with? Hiring someone or creating fields? Let's create a field, shall we? Uh, find the plant icon and mark the range of the field on the ground. Create two fields, one small for around two to five people, and the other larger with dimensions of 20 meters by 40 meters. All right, so that's one small farm, and that's a bigger one. Let's start with the smaller field. In the initial phase of farm development, it's good to invest in crops that are suitable for their world region. This will pay off quickly and will bring steady profits for a long time. Choose black currant as a starting crop. So whilst the visual UI is different, the process so far has been very, very similar. So we're just going to select a, uh, a crop here. I'm just taking a look. There's a lot of other... A lot of other information here. We've got pH levels, nitrogen levels, optimal humidity, good temperature ranges, etc. So we'll choose black current. Uh, switch to the work. Switch the work type to manual. The field is so small, so the workers will handle it quickly. Okay, so we won't need tractors. Before we move on to hiring workers, let's deal with the second field. It's a pity we can't check the soil pH level at this stage. It would allow for a better crop selection. Let me think. Uh, plant apricot trees there. And set the work type to manual. Okay. The fields are set. The next step is to build a worker's house and hire a team. Build one seasonal worker's house and one permanent worker's house. Don't forget to connect them to the power grid and the road. Okay. So we'll go here. So we've got a seasonal employee's house, which we'll, we've been told to put there. And we've got permanent employee's house there. The old uh, <laughs> WASD, the camera moving around is a bit lively when you're zoomed right in. Uh, 
Uh, right, power grid wise, so let's put that there. That's the power grid connected up. And we'll we just wait for these buildings now to finish. And we have a lot of money down the bottom right hand side. We have 1.4 million in the bank, so we, I think we're fine. Okay, set the employment period in the seasonal workers' house from April to October and increase the salary. So, 1st of... Oh, can we get to the 1st? First? 1st of April to the 30th of October. And we'll give them a little bit of an extra monthly wage. And then all of a sudden our workers... Uh, oh, are they just, they're just even... Okay, they're just employed easy because that's the seasonal ones. Yeah, they just they just come in once we set a, a wage. Uh, the farm doesn't have logistics building yet. But the host house will temporarily serve this role. You just need one worker who will be required for managing the internal warehouse. During the hiring process, don't forget to disable the options of field work, machine use, and machine operation. Otherwise, they might inadvertently start working on the field. Okay. So, assign staff. We need to hire a member of staff. Okay. So, uh, we... Did he say, don't forget to disable the option of field work, machine use, and machine operation. We'll turn all of that off and hire you. Uh, seasonal workers need to have their work organized in such a way to minimize down downtime for which you're paying. Some exotic crops uh, can be grown in this climate. Build one greenhouse and plant buck choy. Don't forget to adjust the cost. Okay, so build a greenhouse. Build that there. Anyway, our seasonal workers are out doing the uh, the manual field work. I mean, I wouldn't want to be, even though they're small fields, I'm not sure I'd want to be uh, manually plowing fields. And hilariously, look at that. Black current is down 5% <laughs> on the uh, on the stock market or on the uh, the market prices. Let's hope by the time we've grown them that that's, uh, that's changed. Right, we'll just wait for this greenhouse to be finished. Doesn't, I love how it doesn't actually give you a uh, a percentage. It's just sort of like it's done when it's done type approach. I don't mind that. What is with this weird pattern to which they're doing the uh, the plowing? No idea. Right, let's uh, we're going to plant buck choy. Obviously, it is it is thingy anyway, and we have to select the temperature to sixteen degrees. Is that because that's what that needs? A good temperature range is minus 4 to minus 20. Interesting. So why are we setting it to that then? 16 degrees Celsius. I mean, the... Am I going mad here? Oh, no. Minus 4 to 20 degrees. Sorry. I thought that was minus 20. It's not, is it? Moron. Okay. Okay, right. So that's... Uh, that's going to be done. There's no road... I know there's no road connection. Because there's nothing in there for building roads. Ah, oh, it's, it's in here. Sorry, okay. Right, so we've got a gravel road. We've got the gravel road there. Right there. There we go. Right, so there's now... There's a, there is the connection that it wanted. The gravel road is spilling off into the, uh, into the main road there. Right, so they're almost done with ploughing here. And actually, I feel like this... I, from I can't remember completely, but I remember the UI being a little bit confusing on the last time for what was going on at that current stage. So it does feel like they've made an attempt to clean this up. It's a little bit easier to see at what stage everything is at. Um. Anyway, so that's at 67%. That's at 63%. So this one is actually nearly done. They're nearly done plowing this one. And then once they've done that... I don't know, will they will they now will they come into the greenhouse or will they uh, take over on that field or is there a maximum so is it, they can only have 10 people working on that field anyway and only five on that one so it means that we have three more will go off into there the other two will probably go off into the uh into the warehouse here and they can only have sorry in the greenhouse they can only have three in there anyway so we'll almost be at full efficiency once this field has been completed Mm 
And here comes our uh, main guy. All right, so that is now done. Although they're all probably going to stay there, aren't they? Because it needs it now needs cultivating. So where are they? Where are they all going? Why are they crossing the road to go back to their house? Oh, I guess the front door is there. Okay, I let them off. They still could, they still didn't need to do that. Could you just walked across there? All right, so they finished that. And now they're going to all have to come back out and make a start on the. Uh, on the cultivating probably at this point speed things along i think i think we'll uh, we'll cut forward to when uh when, when we're done oh look talking of the talking of the devil so they finished that field now um so they've had the delivery of the fertilizer which is next but before they do that it looks like they've gone into uh the greenhouse to start the uh, plowing action in there. So again, we'll speed things along. So delivery of nitrogen has just come in. And two people have gone in there to collect the fertilizer and away they go. I wonder actually if they're just sort of spreading it around the field. They probably don't need the full five people. Uh, the cultivation is almost done on this field here, which is good. There we go. That's done as well. Now we wait for another delivery, I presume. Uh, so they're done in there, although there's another three people. They're rotating in and out. So different three people now are going to come in and start cultivating. Here comes the delivery of our fertilizer. And we've got another seven people to come out and start doing that. So the process is quite long, isn't it? It's not a short process to do all of this, which is what it was in the last game. I do recall that quite, uh, quite early on. And now... They are planting. They are planting the blackberries on that field. They have now finished fertilizing. And the, the cultivating inside the greenhouse has also finished. Away we go now. They've plant all of the uh, the apricots or the apricot trees. Looks like we're almost done over there. Is that all they're planting? Just three lines of blackberry bushes. It seems like they're wasting an awful lot of space on that field. Uh, and what are we doing in here? So we're going in to do some more fertilising. And now we are watering to keep the uh, all those stats up, all this stuff here, I guess, is all going to be affected by all this. So they're all doing their jobs. All doing their jobs well. I'd like to see it. What, why are they all dressed up in that? Oh, because they're spraying. Interesting. They will have to get in the full hazmat gear. And that's more... More uh, spraying that's just gone on in there, I think. It's interesting, though, like, unlike the plowing of the main fields and stuff, they don't actually have to do the entire thing, which is, which is kind of nice. Okay, right, what are you guys doing there? They're going to the greenhouse. What's going on in there? So they're now going to be planting the buck choy in there. Some more spraying going on. So I have to do two two sprays. Oh, here we go. Look, we've done one, one anti-fungus. We'll do the anti-weed and then the anti-insects. 
Uh, crops are already growing, so it's wise to prepare for their harvest. Build a barn, a small silo, and a warehouse. Depending on the type of crops, workers will transport them to the appropriate type of warehouse. Remember about access to the road and electricity. Righty ho. So we'll have a small... Have a small silo there. Uh, that's the wrong button. Uh, we'll have a barn. That's quite a large barn, isn't it? We put the barn on that side. Maybe I do we move? Do we move this? Or, or okay, we can't. We can't delete it, so it's there anyway. Uh, and then, what was the other thing we needed? Uh, it was a warehouse, wasn't it? Like that. So we build that there. All right. So that's everything we needed. That they will all be completed. The barn is near the electricity as well, so that's not a problem. As is that. So we'll let all those finish up. Meanwhile, so they do the second leg of that. So we need what we have one more spray on that. This one needs two more sprays. There's horrible pesticides, horrible chemicals they're putting all over the crops. Nothing organic here. While waiting for the first harvest, consider what crops you should replace the current annual ones. In this way, your fields will be more productive. In the bok choy greenhouse, choose the next crop and pick red pepper and then tomatoes. Uh, harvest the crops and start selling black currants to sell the goods it's necessary to transport them to the main warehouse. Uh, the logistics building or the host house. Blackcurrant is a perennial crop, so you can set a constant sale on the crop. Blackcurrant being a perennial crop allows for continuous sales. You've just said that. Establish an auto trade to sell any surplus above zero. Additionally, complete the training, extra farm hand, and assign a new worker. All right, we'll do all of those things you've just said. Uh, so, uh, blackcurrant. Oh no, hang on, that's to buy. We don't want to do that. Trade. We want to trade, do we? We want to sell. A trade item. Oh, okay. Black current. Sell above. What's this? What's sell? Up? Stock amount. Sell above zero. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then it wants us to do some training. Here. Logistics. Unlocks the second worker slot. Okay, we'll do that. So that we can have somebody else to go and work in there. Does that mean we need that person to perhaps do the trading? I'm sure. Uh, right, how, where are we at here? So these have got 131 days left. And these have got only 33 days left. So these are going to be done pretty quickly. Uh, 36 days. So the bok choy and the black currants are going to be done reasonably quickly. Bok choy and the other crops will also soon be ready to harvest. Collect 100 bok choy. Note that each crop has an expiration date, after which it spoils and becomes unavailable. Build two additional greenhouses and plant jalapeno and watermelon. Okay. It's very satisfying the way that that's uh, fit itself into the, uh, the farm like that. Almost like I meant it. Right, so they're all growing nicely. Uh, right, we want... What did it say? One was jalapenos. And the other one was watermelons. Okay, so we've got... Oh, we'll always have enough workers to do this. We're almost at the point, you know, if, if all of a sudden things started all needing to happen at the same time... We might be at the point where we would need more seasonal workers, but I think we're probably just about okay because we can only use nine for these greenhouses, and in here we can only have we can only have maximum of five, so we'd have three working on that. And this one is so far off into the future, we don't need to necessarily worry about that right now anyway. Okay, so it doesn't like really being that low. I mean, it quite clearly states 
I hover over that the humidity, which is the second one up from the bottom there, is 60 to 80. And it's currently at 42. So I need to get out and do some watering at some point. 27 days left on that one. But I must say, so far, it's all very familiar. The UI looks a little different. Gameplay-wise, I'm not seeing a great deal of difference at all so far. Um, is that a bad thing? Difficult to tell at the moment. Because the UI changes, I think, from what I can tell, they, they're better. Things look a little bit easier to find than I recall when I last played File Manager 2021. Does that justify a brand new game, though? No, in my opinion, it does not. So, I will be keen to uh, to do a bit more research and maybe play this game a bit more to find out whether there's more differences. But at the moment, not seeing a great deal of difference. I mean, I like the game. Don't get me wrong. It, there's, 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 I'm, I'm not criticising the game itself. I'm just, you know... It falls into that bracket of, you know, we're, are, are we actually doing anything to, to improve this game particularly? Other than maybe a few UI changes and a few optimizations here and there. Because otherwise it becomes, you know, very similar to games like Train Sim World. Uh, you know, and, and, and Train Simulator. These games don't change dramatically enough from version to version to justify a new purchase. Farming Simulator is different. I think they do genuinely make some fairly significant changes to the game each time. To the best of my knowledge, I could be wrong. Feel free to shout me out in the comments down below if I'm wrong on that. But at the moment with this, it's relaxing. It's it's cool. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing everything suddenly uh, suddenly take off and you can see obviously the crops growing. It's all very good. You know, we've got plenty of t time left here. We've got these seasonal workers for another five months yet. Or, or, uh, or just over five months. And they're all working very, very hard. And things look very nice and very cosy. We've got a lovely little farm set up as we grow our stuff. But, as I said, at the moment, this feels too similar for my liking to, uh, to, the, to the previous iterations of this game. So, obviously, we'll see this out. We'll see this tutorial through. It may be a case of, uh, you know, finishing this video up after the tutorial is finished. Um, and then I will maybe continue playing off stream. And if there is justification for another video, a slightly longer video, perhaps actually playing this game to its fullest, assuming that that is even possible in this demo, um, then maybe I'll do another video and give my final thoughts then. But that, as things stand right now, I'm saying that this is... I don't want to use the term reskin, because I'm not even sure it's that, quite frankly. Um, it's too similar, is my current opinion of this game. Um, and I'd be very interested to know if other people feel the same. So let me know in the comments down below. I don't know when this game releases, whether it's this year or next. But I wouldn't be surprised if, um, some criticism comes its way when it comes out to say that this is just basically Farming, farming Manager 2021, uh, with some UI changes. I would say also visually, it, it doesn't look that much different. No, I, I, I've not seen I'm not seeing a, a particularly big leap in graphical quality. I mean, I've got the settings turned up to the max here. I'm not I'm not seeing a huge increase, if anything. Um, I mean, dare I say it? I'm not even sure it looks. I'm trying to remember. I'd have to load up Fire Manager 2021 to compare. But on first glance, I'd almost go as far to say that it feels like it's a slight downgrade on Farming Manager 2021. Um, as I say, I'd have to reserve full judgment on that for when I actually play load up Farming Manager 2021 and, and make some some actual comparisons. There's just something about it that just doesn't quite look quite as clean as before. It looks a little bit rough around the edges. Now, of course, this is only a, a demo. This is only a beta, so perhaps they can have got time to clean that up. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it sounds like I'm being very negative here, and I don't mean to be, um, but I just, I'm not a massive fan of games that just sort of reskin things and then release it and charge another 30 quid, 30, 40 quid for it, which is why I haven't bought a new FIFA game in a long time. I think I bought one in the last five or six iterations, which for me is, is very rare. I was a, I was a FIFA born and bred player, uh, or I certainly was recently anyway, um, since uh, Pez shit the bed when it was when I was a little bit younger, but here we go. Then we're our first harvest. Black currants are being harvested. Our buck choys are going to be harvested fairly soon as well. 
Lots of, uh, lots and lots of delicious blackberries. And look, what perfect timing. Minus 11% demand. You've got you to gotta love the irony. You've got to love it. Right, so they're going to be going into that warehouse. So how many beautiful berries are going in there? So we've got 96. 168. Well, I don't know. I'm assuming this means, is this kilos? I don't know if that's tons. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Uh, but we are... Moving them immediately to... Where are they going? They're not going anywhere. They're just... I don't know what they're doing. I'm about to say, have we, have we sold the blackberries already? Uh, sell at least 100 bok choy to the market. To do this, your workers must first transport the bok choy from the fields to the host's house or logistics buildings. Only after this, the bok choy will be visible and available to sell in the market. Note the quantity you buy and sell affects the overall price of the product. So, that trade we did there, are we... Are we artificially... Are we making the price even freaking worse? So, we are currently spraying again. So, does that mean that we're going to get... Are we getting multiple? I think we're getting multiple uh, yields from the same crop, you know. Okay. Right, so that's that done. Uh, field harvested. Uh, so they've got 1,344 of that and 504 blackberries. Uh, right, he now wants to sell, us to sell 100 kilos of bok choy. So it's moving all the blackberries from there so that's where they're being stored the reason they're going into there is because we've put the sale order on I guess so if we then go into here but I want to sell but it's not there it's not in the fucking list how am I supposed to sell it if it's not there it's not there I can't sell it if it's not there where are you going He's taking the... All oh right, so they put it all in the warehouse for storage and now they're going to move it into the farm owner's house. So the warehouse is pure storage only. It doesn't class as logistics building. So if I now go sell, is it there? It is. Right. There we go. So we sold that. I see you have already got quite good at selling in the local market. I'd like to show you how to buy and store food for animals. Shall we see some examples of what you... Um, what do you prefer to breed at the beginning? Carps or chickens? Let's go chickens. Buy, uh, build a small chicken coop, buy 10 chickens and assign the worker to the building. Add chicken eggs to the tract resources to keep the quantity in check. Uh, we'll build... Build that there, and then... Build that there. Okay. Um, no electricity. That absolutely is electricity. You can see as electricity. It's covering half the building. How is it not? How is it not there? Okay, fine. And then we'll take the. Uh, Right, okay. We'll buy... Is it 81 potential chickens? There we go. 10 chickens. Uh, add chicken eggs to the tract resources. Uh, and now do we need to assign a member of staff? And assign a worker to the building. New worker must be hired. So we need somebody who's an animal manager. That's not what I meant. Okay, I've just lost the screen. Hire. Um, this skill, yeah. Skill of caring for animals affects the collection speed of animal products. Uh... Yes, you can be hired, and he goes straight. Oh, he automatically goes straight in. Okay, there we go. 
Right, well, before... Yeah, there we go again. It's exactly the same thing again. They're gonna, they all arrive on the back of a... Uh, on a truck. Still got 89 days left to go on there. So we're actually... We're gonna get... We're gonna be continually getting multiple thingies out of that field each time. Right, now we need to take, take care of the chicken food. Set a constant purchase of soy and corn to the quantity of 100. Navigate to the small chicken coop and pick the proper uh, types of food for the animals. The more f uh, varied food you provide, the more products they will produce. Or, sorry, the more produce they will produce, rather. So, corn and soy. Okay. So, we now need to set a constant purchase of this, I guess. Uh, actually, that's a no. We don't want to do that. We want to set a constant one, right? That's what he said. Soy. Buy a hundred. And corn. Buy a hundred. Oh no, that's. That one is what we want. Right. Uh, the animal feed should be stored as close as possible to the building where it will be used. Set warehouse orders on the silo. 200 soy and 200 corn. In this way, there will be no chance that you accidentally sell the crop that you wanted to use as feed. Pick resource. Okay. 200. And soy at 200. So what we're saying is, is that you must keep 200 in here. And if it's in the silo, it can never be sold because in order to be sold, it has to either go into there or into another logistics building. I see the activity in the warehouse is increasing. It's a good time to hire an additional worker for the owner's house. Complete the advanced transportation technique to move resources further. All right. Uh, remind me where the training is. Here, training. Logistics. That one. Increases the amount of products carried by owner's house workers to 400 kilos. All right, uh, not enough resources, corn and soya. I'm aware of that. Hopefully, the delivery of such things will be heading over shortly. Where are you? You're going to warehouse one. What is it that you're carrying? Doesn't tell me what you're carrying, but I think. Let's see what, what it is he's carrying. That's kind of annoying that it doesn't tell me what it is that he's got in his hand. But he is going to go and put that in the silo, which is good news, because now that it's in the silo, your boy over here, Mr. Uh, David Stevenson, will hopefully now come and grab that corn and start feeding them. And I think that's exactly what he's about to go and do. Hopefully, you are going to go back over there, Mr. Rory. Ah, so it's, I just had a thought. It's only the workers here, isn't it, that's going to do anything. Can we just assign another work anyone, anyone now? I think we can just go and, go and hire someone. Uh, okay, what have we got here? Beekeeping, strength. Probably strength, isn't it? Nobody with the strength attribute. Are you kidding? Not a single person? Chosen food quality. Current food quality at 30%. Estimated food. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, so we have got... We've got 10 eggs in there already. Okay, so that's good. And now he's bringing that food into there. There we go. So now we're up to 60%. There we go. So... The, uh, the chickens are happy, they're fed. And now they're going to start producing me some eggs. He's actually taking some eggs now away, isn't he? He is indeed. And there's our first delivery of 10 eggs. Right, speed things along. How are we going in here? We've got some 61 days left, 80 days left. We're now growing red peppers in there. So the whole process had to start again. Look at the size of these orchards for these apricots. Still 80 days left. We've got another 11 days left and we can get some more black currants, which we will sell 
straight away. So 31 eggs are now over here, ready to be sold. Uh, summer is here for many people, it is time for vacation. Unfortunately, it is also a stormy period, a time for looking after plants and the beginning of the harvest. Uh, investing in cow farming is more expensive initially, but it can become, uh, but it can quickly become profitable. To limit the upfront cost, you should start by purchasing one young and one adult cow. Young animals are much cheaper than adults, but they don't produce milk. Once the calf matures, it will start producing milk that you can sell. Okay. So, is that... It wants me to, to make, build a cow shed. Okay, there we go. So, animals. So how do we... Purchasing one young and one adult cow. I'm assuming that means the young cow. I mean, it, I'm just going by the picture there. Okay, we now need to buy some grass and some silage. It's uh, fine. And some grass from somewhere. I mean, we can. In normal situations, we'd probably really look to look to produce that ourselves. We've also completed the training, which means our guys are uh, moving a bit quicker. Uh, are they harvesting? Not quite. Six days left. Construct manure storage building. Wants me to construct this as well. Okay. Do that there like that. Here comes our two cows. And there we go. We have a young and an adult cow. Uh, we also now need another worker. Uh, we'll take Ollie Grant. You can go in and be the worker there. Ensure at least 50% satisfaction for cows with their feed and the care of a qualified worker. Uh, and sell at least 100 units of milk. Remember to set up warehouse resource orders for cow selected food in the nearest barn. Yes, that's fine. So we can use them in so the manure store is there. I guess we can actually use for fertilization at some point. We need a manure spreader. That's probably machinery based rather than I wouldn't want to be doing that by hand. I don't know about you guys. We have 136 eggs as well. Should we be selling those? Sell above zero. Yeah, we're making uh, making a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a loss here. Monthly wages is sixteen thousand, so yeah, we're definitely uh, not hitting the heights here. But obviously, it is a longer game, right? So you know, we've got when I say long game, I mean in terms of it takes time for all of these things to grow and, and pay off. What's the problem? No resource, yes I know. What do you mean no resource order? I've fucking bought those things, haven't I? Purchase a hundred of them. Yeah, they're in there, look. It's not my fault they haven't brought them over yet. Or do we need... Does it need to go in here? Ah, right, okay, so where it's the barn. I've put I've put kind of put the barn in the wrong fucking place then. Can we uh can I delete the barn? No, that's kind of annoying. Is the barn in range? Warehouse resource oil is right, so that's what it wants. It wants us to do it wants us to do this again, doesn't it? Is what we had to do the first time round. So now, that clears those warnings, and now we need 
Those guys to move the items. There we go. They'll do that. And then he will then... He will then head off to go and pick up the food. Well, hopefully he will anyway. I do apologise for making you walk so far, so I wasn't aware the barn would be needed for those things. Right, there we go. So they're doing, they're doing their bits. We're getting quite a lot of eggs out of them as well, by the way, which is pretty good. And we were looking to sell... some milk set up some trade orders on that and just tell it to sell as soon as we get enough milk so how much does how much does milk sell for current price 880 by the litre well, this demo has actually gone on a little bit longer than i thought it was going to um but i think we're getting there i think we're almost there i don't know what else it's going to try and get me to do Maybe it's going to ask me to start using some machinery. Is that the next part of the tutorial? What's wrong with you? Why is that cow... Or is that age? Oh, that might be the uh, the time taken until it becomes a mature adult cow. What should we say? We sort of 12, 6... Okay, yeah, we've not, uh, not sold everything quite yet. That's another load of milk. 72... So we need just a little bit more milk to be sold. Once we sell that 24, we should be good to complete this part of the, of the campaign or the tutorial. There we go. We've got 24 in there. Yep. So we should be good to go. I think these people are going to be very busy, you know. Because everything is going to need help. Apart from that one, everything is going to need uh, harvesting almost at the same time. I think we have left this part behind us. It's time for a higher level of initiation. Chapter 2, my very own tracks. Here we go. Yes, it's going to take us down the tractor route now. I trust that you're promptly selling your harvested crops. There's no point in letting them go to waste in the warehouses when they could be generating income. If you'd like to cut down on feed costs, you could consider producing it yourself and selling any surplus prior to placing, playing a new field for cultivation. Make sure the soil quality uh, matches the needs of the crops you want to grow. I recommend completing the expert ground assessment training. Okay, what we got here? So this one unlocks a soil survey tool. So I think what it's what it was trying to tell us to do is to. Uh, I mean, this is all stuff we're producing regularly, right? Like very regularly. The other stuff, I'm sure we could just sell as and when it comes up. Just sold forty-eight thousand pounds worth of stuff. Oh, we got a reward. I think that's a chapter reward. I was going to say, something went up in price if that was the case. I mean, we've, been, we've been recording for an, almost an hour. And I've only done three in-game months. But I'm, I'm fairly pleased with my little farm here. It's doing doing things pretty well. We've now got two adult cows. So they'll be producing more milk and more manure. Can you sell, can you sell the manure? Sell above, we'll sell above 200. As soon as it goes above 200, we'll start selling. Or do we say, rather than that, we sell above... Sell above 50, actually. Examine the soil and find the ideal places for grass cultivation. Create one larger field. You can find the soil examination results uh, by activating the soil layers. They're located on the left side of the screen. Okay. Soil parameters. So, do I have to create the field first? Oh, hang on, we go pH. Layers. Soil parameters. Okay. So, now that we know that, 
we saying that's that's good <laughs> i mean we can't just instantly what is this trying to suggest soil class okay so if i just want to plant grass Um, I don't understand what this means. So the current 139. Oh, okay, I see. So we can now change it now. So it needs to be 180 to 200. So we need to do that. And the pH level needs to be 5.5 to 6.5. So actually the pH level is okay. Uh... Humidity level is current 50, desired 60, so again, that's okay. I think this is new. I think what we're doing now, this whole soil thing, I think this is new. I don't recall this on the previous game. We have zero field, 0.27 hectares. So we need a, we need a much fucking larger field than this. Okay, let's, uh, let's delete that. really does want a fucking big field, doesn't it? Okay, let's do this again. This is going to be a humongous fucking field, by the way. 0 0.27 hectares. Okay. So now we do that. Examine the soil and find the ideal places for grass cultivation. Yeah, we, we okay, you've already told us that. So we'll go grass. Um, and at this point, nitrogen levels need to be at 180 to 200. So we're doing that. pH, yeah, that's, that's okay. Humidity 50, 60, okay, that's fine. All right, so that's okay. For large foods, instead of manual labor, it's better to use machinery. Build a parking lot and lease a regger tractor, a lily plough, an ester cultivator, and a grain seeder. Then sow the grass mechanically on the fields and lease the right machine to fertilize the fields. And remember that seasonal workers cannot operate machines. Okay, let's build. Let's build that. Right, we'll lease ourselves a reg tractor. Again, this is all very similar. You put put all the stuff in there that you need. You need a lily plow. I need an ester cultivator. And we need a seed drill. And a fertilizer spreader. trailer with water uh, okay we uh, we can't put all that in there okay so then all that fertilizer with water can go there um, right so is that, that's everything purchased uh, we are looking to plant whatever's and we now need we now need staff don't we hire staff right we need somebody who can operate machinery i want you doing any manual work and you will go can we actually we can't see any more about them they don't have any sort of statistics or anything um and there we go in theory and lease the right machine to fertilize the fields. We, we bought a fertilizer spreader, didn't we? That's that, yeah. So I'm pretty sure we're all good. Just waiting to see what uh, what it is that they're now waiting on to, uh, to get the ball rolling here.
Build a parking lot and lease. Yeah, we've leased all that. Then sow grass mechanically on the fields. All oh, right, we need to speed that as well. Right. That, I think, is everything. Animals are sick. Call a vet. Did we have sick animals in Farm Manager 2021? Honestly, I don't remember. Where's the vet? Is he on his way? Here he comes. Right, it's now two people I've hired. This is saying I only need to have one person. I don't understand the whole not enough staff thing. Is the building too far? No, it's not. Look, it's green. Or is that too far away? No way, hang on. It's that one. Can I move that? I can't move the house, can I? Can I move the two employees? So you relocate there. And you relocate there as well. Right, so it wasn't to do with that. Which is kind of annoying because I'm leasing equipment that my people are refusing to use. It's still saying not enough staff. What is going on here? What am I missing? Oh, hang on. Is something happening? I've not got the symbol anymore. I've not got the symbol to say that uh, there's any issues. So is somebody actually going to do something? But don't tell me it's because I put that there and you, they can't get it out. That would be hilarious, wouldn't it? Where I parked the tractor being the reason that it doesn't work. I don't get it. They just won't work the field. We've got all of these, all of these things here I've got. I've got every single one of those machines. I don't know if I've uh, run into a bit of a bug here. This could be a, um, a slightly unnatural stopping point here. Because there is just no, there's nothing else I can do. The only thing I can think of is that it's something to do with the crop, but I've changed the these soils, the soil class around. Everything is in the in the right ranges that it needs to be. So unless it's because we can't plant it at this particular time. Uh, right, well, I mean, it seems that I have hit a natural stopping point. I mean, there's obviously something I'm missing here. It might be incredibly obvious. You guys might be absolutely screaming at the uh, at your monitors right now because I'm just being an absolute moron. Is it because it's not because of the it's not this, is it? I don't think it is. I'm sure the graveled road doesn't make any difference. Certainly didn't on the last game. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to uh, I'm going to end things there. Do you know what? I've seen enough anyway. It's been it's been uh, interesting to see because it looks like they have added one or two more things. I'm still not convinced it's, en it's enough to justify a brand new game. I think that they could have added this, these changes, the UI changes, the stuff about the soil pH. That could have easily been added into the previous game. Especially as visually this looks like... Well, it looks visually like the same game. I don't think they've made any changes in that regard. So, yeah, that's those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I do think this is still a good game. I think there's weight in it. I just don't know whether or not you can justify buying this game again when it's so, so similar to the previous game. Uh, that's, that's just my take. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe for more. Make sure you hit that notification bell for more upload notifications. And, of course, join my Discord to continue the discussions in there. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you all in the next video.